Well, we're here with uh, number 52, defensive lineman Cole Juarez. Cole, welcome to Red Menace TV. Thank you. Uh, it's been quite a whirlwind for you, hasn't it been? No, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been different. It's been new, something to adapt to, different from junior college. Uh, talk about the transition. I mean, you go right from junior college to here, you arrive in August, and you're on the starting line. Yeah, it's it, really, it's football, it's football, but it's a lot different. Pace picks up, goes a lot faster. Um, you know, like a lot of these teams are no huddle offenses. That's something hard to go up against, you know, being able to get set, get the play call, get your lineman assignment, everything correct. What, what's been the biggest, uh, the hardest transition for you to make? Hardest transition, I think, it is just playing against like no huddle, quick offenses. You know, and trying to get hand signals off the sideline and getting your alignment, get your assignment done. Still, in the meantime, chase the ball down, get back to your, you know, get back ready to go. Talk about the process that brought you to New Mexico. Um, it's a long process. It'd take a while, but it ended up just I had a couple other bigger offers and stuff, and uh, things weren't going right on the visits. And New Mexico just happened to call and ask if I'd be interested in a visit. And, I said sure, so I came on down, and I don't know. That's kind of just how it happened. It just went like that. The coaches came and up to my house a few times and stuff like that. So I just, you know, I kind of felt comfortable. Um, what did you know about the program prior to signing? To be honest with you, not much. I never really paid attention to local football that much. I was kind of paying attention to uh, other schools that were recruiting me from the beginning. You know, from the first couple of games I had in junior college. Now that you're here, putting local football on the map, how, how do you plan to do that, Cole? Um, just give it my best, you know, represent, give it everything I got, and so, you know, let everyone see what we do. Uh, Saturday, you're in a dogfight down there in Las Cruces. It seems like no matter what you guys tried to do on defense, you couldn't stop uh, the Aggies from rolling a little bit on you. What what was going on out there? Uh, they had a good, I think they had a good tempo, and they got momentum going. You know, when you get momentum, whether it's defensively or offensively, it helps big time. You know, and they'd get their momentum going, and they'd move the ball. You know, they did their job. They put up a fight. Um, big interception there to stop a drive by uh, your linebacker, your, I guess, best new friend, Dakota Cox. Dakota Cox, uh, yeah, he had a good interception on that one. Um, saved us. You know, uh, talk about exactly what you think it's going to take uh, to get the defense really stepping up more and stopping people. I think really it's going to take us getting, our biggest problem is getting the play call and getting in our alignment to these no, no huddle offenses, the fast tempo. I think that's the biggest thing is we need to get the call and we need to speak, be louder with each other in the front, in the defensive line, I know at least, just you know, let each other know what the call is because that's, that's really the biggest problem we have is, uh, is just trying to get, you know, get the call. Sometimes it takes coaches a minute you know, to figure out the offense, what, they, what kind of scheme they want to call to it. And... Your introduction to the New Mexico-New Mexico State rivalry, was it everything that it was cranked up to be? Yeah, there, <laughs> there's a lot of fans. they got a lot, loud fan crowd. I know that. They, they, they're loud. definitely made it hard to hear. Did they try talking to you at all? Oh, yeah. yeah. Talking smack. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, getting out of Las Cruces with a win, your first one of the year, what's this going to do for the team? I think it gave us some motivation. Um, you know, the kick to definitely get going to realize, you know, we do. We, we really got talent. That's the thing. We spark every now and then. You know, we go out there and we'll shut them three and out and then make super little mental errors here and there that let them get the fourth down or something. But, I mean, we got the talent to shut down, you know, a lot of teams on the run. Yeah. Uh, third down seems to be kind of like a problem. Uh, is it is it, again, just getting lined up right? Or uh, what's been happening on third down that uh, teams have been? You know, I'm not, I'm not too sure what exactly the problem is. I know when we go into third down, we send a different defensive front out, more of like a pass run front, you know. So, you know, as far as that goes, it's – I think it is alignment, assignment, and shit like that. Now, uh, you got Fresno State coming in. You're a California guy, right? Yes, sir. Uh, what, what do you th What do you know? What do you think about Fresno? Um, I, I know they're good. I know they're going to bring it, you know, but ain't nothing to be worried about. Just time to go to work. You know what I mean? Cole, thanks for spending a few minutes with the Red Menace TV. Yeah, no problem.